from the Bell Telephone Hour. Now your host, Donald Voorhees. Good evening. Our program tonight has a very special meaning for me since it features the great American baritone Leonard Warren in performances of the late 1950s, just a few years before his death. I think you'd have to call Leonard one of the most amazing natural talents of our times. For years, singing was just a hobby with him. He took lessons in the evenings after a day's work in his father's fur business. And when the Met signed him, he not only had never sung an opera before, but he hadn't even seen more than one or two in his whole life. It wasn't long, though, before Leonard became the Met's leading dramatic baritone and one of the most exciting personalities on the American musical scene. We'll be hearing several of Leonard Warren's performances tonight, so first, let's begin at the beginning. The prologue of Leon Cavallo's I Pagliacci. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
se tu mi dici ora ascoltate come le volto andiamo incominciò Leonard Warren with the prologue to Pagliacci. In the opera house, I Pagliacci is usually given on a double bill with another famous one actor, Mascagni's Cavalleria Rusticana. Here is the bell telephone orchestra to play the familiar intermezzo. Although Leonard Warren specialized in big dramatic roles, he could also tone down his magnificent voice and sing folk and popular tunes with delightful warmth and simplicity. Here are two numbers from Telephone Hour shows of 1957 and 1958, showing off this remarkable and rather unexpected side of Warren's talent. Danny Boy, the tender Irish tune, and a cute bit of fun called The Donkey. <laughs> Oh. 
side of Leonard Warren. I'll be back with more encores from the Bell Telephone Hour after this message. Ever talked with someone who has used telephone service in another country? If so, you know why most people come away with a new appreciation of the quality of telephone service in the United States. One of the reasons is that Western Electric is part of the nationwide communications network known as the Bell System. Western Electric. That's the name you'll find in the cradle of your telephone. Western made seven and a half million telephones alone last year. When Bell Laboratories comes up with something new in communications, their engineers work hand in glove with Western Electric to see that it's made and supplied to local Bell telephone companies at the lowest possible cost. This is one of the reasons the cost of telephone service has not increased as fast as that of most other services through the years. Western Electric, a name to remember when you enjoy reliable, low-cost, 
nationwide telephone service. The late Harl MacDonald loved to brighten his compositions with American folk tunes and dances. Listen as the Bell Telephone Orchestra plays the bouncy cakewalk movement from his fourth symphony. <laughs> Leonard Warren was born in New York, up in the Bronx, actually. He made his special mark with Italian opera, and in particular, the music of Verdi. His debut was in Verdi's Simone Bocanegra. He took on at least nine other Verdi roles during his career, and his untimely death occurred on stage at the Met during a performance of Verdi's La Forza del Destino. His last appearance on the telephone hour also involved Verdi. This was on June 9th. 1958, less than two years before his death. 
And I don't think that any of us will ever forget his stunning performance of the credo from Othello. Vanne, la tua meta già vedo, distinge il tuo dimone, e il tuo dimone sono io, e me trascina il mio, nel quale io credo me. One of the really great ones, Leonard Warren, singing the credo from Verdi's Othello. I'll be back after this word from the telephone company. 
You may not realize it, but every time you dial a number on your telephone, you're working a computer. The largest computer, in fact, in the world. By means of elimination, this computer determines whether your call's going across town or across the nation. What area, what city, what street, what house. Until the phone rings at the number you dialed. This giant computer is the nationwide communication switching network. Stretching from border to border and from coast to coast, it is joined by more than 700 million miles of circuits, connecting more than 100 million telephones. Today, there are about 5 million billion possible different connections you can get over the network. But possibly the most important part of the network is that it's so easy to use. Unless, of course, somebody else gets there first. This is Donald Gordon. I hope you enjoyed the singing of Leonard Warren. This is the last program in the current series of Encores from the Bell Telephone. We hope you'll be with us again in the fall when the program resumes on many of these same stations. Watch your local radio listings for the dates and time. Thank you, and goodbye for now. This is the NBC Radio Network. Mm-hmm.